Hey guys, we've seen a lot of videos about cats in a maze or a bunny in a maze. And we had a gigantic box that we got from Christmas for Brendan getting a new bike. So I came up with the genius idea of, and I have no idea if it's gonna work, trying to make a little maze for Pillow. I don't think Pearl will fit in it. I think Pearl is too tall, but we're gonna see if Pillow we can make a little maze for Pillow. So we'll see how it goes. We're not even sure if he's gonna go in it, but anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Cut off the top so we can see what's going on inside. Note to self, never buy Tate at the dollar store. Have the shell of our maze here, I guess. We'll start to add the little holes inside. Do this and have the entry point right here. This is mostly for Hello, although maybe you can go in it too if you really want to. I'm going to put you over on this side. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, we got a little door now. What do you think? It's not really for you. I think it's too small for you. Well, it's not the most elegant maze design, uh, nor is it even proportional, but it, uh, it's a maze. Now, I guess, now that we have the maze set up, if Pillow goes in, then he can't just fly out. We're gonna cover it in saran wrap. Obviously, there's gigantic holes on both sides, so there's no danger of suffocation. Uh, there's plenty of air in there, and we can always just tear it off if we have to, just saran wrap. And our homemade <laughs> do-it-yourself bird maze is now complete. And uh, 
guess we can do a test run to see if Hello will venture into the maze. Okay, so we've got our little maze set up for Pillow. We've got a little camera with a GoPro set up, and so we're gonna open it. And we made a little tunnel, which leads right to his cage that we can open and he can walk in so that he doesn't just fly off. We've thrown a little bit of millet in there just to kind of entice him to come in. But we're gonna open it up and see if Pillow comes out and wanders through the maze. Uh, so this is, I'm not anticipating he'll do that, at least initially, although we've left it on the tables all, um, for a while so that he can see it. But this is take one, so let's give it a shot and see what happens. Come on out! There you! There we go. Okay, so Pillow hasn't gone in from the entrance that we attached to his cage. We decided to actually bring Pearl out and bring Pillow out <clears throat> and have them eat a little bit of millet near the back entrance just so they can get used to being in and around the maze. You don't get some millet. Then. You wanna go in here? Look. While not wholly effective, Pillow did seem to, and Pearl actually, did seem to nibble a little bit of the millet near the back entrance. So without going all the way into the maze, they're at least comfortable around the entrance. So that's probably all we're gonna get for today, but we're gonna try again tomorrow and maybe it's a progressive thing over time. They'll get more and more familiar and comfortable and maybe Pillow will actually at one point, at some point, be able to go through the whole maze. We'll see, but. They're getting more and more comfortable near the entrance area.